Hi, my name is Melissa Martin. You are in the Flint River Gallery of the Flint River Aquarium. And we are at the Longleaf Pine Community Exhibit inside the Flint River Gallery. And I have with me a gopher tortoise. And this is one of our exhibits. We have three gopher tortoises on exhibit in our, in our Longleaf Pine Community. And um, this particular gopher tortoise, well, gopher tortoises are very interesting creatures. For one thing, they are endemic to the southeastern United States. They don't live anywhere else in the world. Amazing little creatures. They dig huge burrows in the ground that can sometimes be 30 feet long, as long as a school bus. And if you notice the front feet here, they look like their flippers may be made for swimming, but they're not. They're for digging, digging those huge burrows in the ground. And um, they're very, very important animals. In fact, they call these um, guys a keystone species, which means there's lots of different animals, uh, over 360 animals that depend on the gopher tortoise for their own survival. So these animals are very, very important to the ecosystem, and um, they are a threatened species, so we certainly don't want them to become endangered or even extinct. Not, not a good thing if that happens, that um, other animals might, might perish as well. So um, it looks like she wants to move around a little bit here. But um, this is a female. And um, actually, you can age these animals. A lot of times with turtles, you can age them. Um, each scale or scute on its back, and the back of the turtle, turtle is called a carapace. And each one has a ring. And you can count those rings from the edge towards the center. And um, each ring means one year. And um, so that's kind of how you age a turtle. Um, turtles also, something that's very unique about the turtle, not only the fact that it has shell, but turtles don't have teeth. They have a beak kind of like a bird, and that's how they rip and tear into the food that they want to eat. Um, and gopher tortoise are completely, they're called herbivores, so they are kind of like vegetarians. We call them vegetarians when we're people that only eat plants. And uh, plant matters, they eat seeds and grasses and different types of things. They'll actually eat cactus and poison ivy out in the wild. We don't feed our creatures that, but um, we do feed them a, kind of a lettuce salad mixture with all their nutrients that they need in them to be all healthy. 